today I'm going to talk about the story of Joshua. And Joshua was a badass of the premium kind. He came after Moses, and, uh, you know, Moses killed a couple motherfuckers. He dominated a king or two, but he was nothing compared to Joshua. Joshua, biggest badass in the Bible. And, uh, the first thing he does is he takes all of his Israelites to Habar Gibraltar, which, uh, if you translate it, it stands for the Hill of Foreskins. So he circumcises all of his Israelites and, uh, you know, gets them prepared for battle. And once they get all, get rid of all this dick weight, they're all ready to start, uh, you know, raping and pillaging villages. So the first thing they do is go to the city of Jericho. And Joshua already had spies here. He's trying to figure out, you know, how to beat the walls. And he decides that the best way to destroy the walls is by playing trumpets really loudly. It's a really good strategy. And uh, so they circle around the city for six days, just being loud, obnoxious assholes. And on the seventh day, finally the walls just come down. Just from being loud, obnoxious, playing trumpets. And, uh... They take this opportunity to just run into the village and rape and pillage everything. They kill every every motherfucker in the city. Young, old, woman, children. They don't care. God told them to kill the children. It's okay. They kill all the animals except this woman Rahab and her family. Rahab was a prostitute that uh, Joshua's spies were fucking. And she was a really good lay, so they didn't want to kill her. So they kept her alive. And uh, so they take down Jericho, kept everyone in there. And uh, they can continue to march on. They take all the loot from Jericho, and they bring it to the Church of God. But uh, after God's inspection, noticing all the loot, he notices that a, a nice, really nice coat is missing and a couple of gold, gold pieces. And uh, he tells Joshua about this, and God is irate. When God's missing gold, you don't want to mess with him, because th that, that's why God is here, is to get the gold. He's, he's a capitalist. He's really interested in the gold. And... Uh, this guy, uh, uh, Abraham, is, uh, you know, he, it, they fi Joshua finds out through some natural, national treasure type deduction uh, that uh, this guy, Abraham, found this gold and uh, was hiding it underneath this tent. And Joshua was pissed. He's not about to take this shit. So he takes this guy up to the hill and his entire family, and they just stone him to death. Because uh, when you steal God's gold, bad things happen. I mean, God is, he, he was the one who invented ass-fucking. You don't want to get ass-fucked by God. And, uh, so they go to the next city that they're, they're, they're ready to plunder, which is the city of Ai. And, uh, they just bust in through the walls, 30,000 30, Israelites ready to pu plunder and pillage this village. They bust in, kill everyone, every motherfucker last in that, left in that city, except for the king, who they capture. And uh, they take him to Joshua. And Joshua's like, what the fuck, dudes? Why didn't you kill this guy? I'll have to kill him myself. And, uh, you know, Joshua does in the most brutal way he can think of. He impales him on a stake in front of the burning city. Burning city in the background. The king of Ai on a stake. Just in front of it all. That's, that's Joshua's style. That's how he does it. They go to the next city. Hazar. And, uh, you know, the king of Hazar, he sees it coming. He knows that they're coming. He's been watching Joshua. So, uh, he just gets the fuck out of there. He doesn't want to be there when a city gets destroyed. Because he saw the king of Ai impaled in front of his town. So he gets out of there with a couple of his, like, elite soldiers. But, uh, you know, Joshua's got God on his side. So he can't get away from that. And, uh, he tracks him down. And he hamstrings every single one of his horses. He burns his chariots down. And uh, he just kills all of his elite men. And then he just comes to the king of Hazar and he's like, what the, what the fuck, dude? You can't run away from our shit. And he kills him. Because Joshua's a badass. And uh, then he burns the city of Hazar to the ground, just like all the other cities. And uh, that's, that's the story of Joshua. That's how he dominates Israel. And, uh... Beat some shit up. <laughs>